Yes, it is. It very much is. Test. Test. Hold on. For sync. Howdy. You. I am Elombe Chorizo, the dude who's been making the So You Want to Be Animator series. Um, if you haven't noticed, this isn't a tutorial. What exactly is this? After working on basically seven videos for three months straight, I am very fucking burnt out. <laughs> and as much as I do like making those heavily edited videos, um, they are very taxing because they are so many edits. Even if it's just slides and goofy little drawings, it takes a lot of time to make those 20 minute videos. Trust me. Um, and it's way too much work. And while I am very proud of the videos I made, uh, Sadly, because I think I took too long, the views haven't been too good, but I think it's because I haven't been consistent with uploading on my channel. And uh, I honestly, I, I just need some low effort content that's not edit heavy. I'll be completely real with you guys. <laughs> so I was thinking of what kind of low effort content I could do. I thought about streaming animation, but honestly, streaming animation is so fucking boring, dude. Like, I'm an animator and I think that shit's boring. I mean, like, unless you're the one doing it, because when you're the one doing it, you just kind of get in the zone, make 40 drawings, blink, and it's been five hours. That's usually how it goes, and it's no big deal because you're the one doing it, and you like doing it. But when you're watching it, that shit is a slog. It's boring, and that's why animation content doesn't do too well in stream, in my opinion. It's just not very entertaining. There's not a lot going on. And also, I'm a very anxious person, uh, and animating really helps me relax and is almost kind of like therapeutic for me, so I figured it would be uh, very unhealthy if I chose to monetize me man <laughs> i figured it would be very uh, unhealthy if i chose to monetize me animating because uh that would make it not fun for me and i kind of want to keep that for myself and keep it fun when i, I remember when i was in animation school our professor would like uh make us send vlogs for updates on our projects and because i was working on that video for three months i haven't worked on my film for three months in case you didn't know i am working on an independent film and it really bummed me out that i haven't worked on it for three months because i'm focusing on this youtube channel so I think it would be great if I made videos documenting that to help you guys understand what it's like to work on an independent project on your own and to hold myself accountable and just keep up with it more consistently so I can have content for my YouTube, work on my film, and it's even somewhat informative. Yeah, actually. I just wrote some questions down so I can answer them. Am I finished with the So You Want to Be an Animator series? No, I am not. I mean, there's only like four videos, but... I just did like the technical boring part. So now we'll get to animating. I already have like 12 videos in my head I wanna work in. I've already started outlining the next video. Um, so I'm not gonna stop making those videos until people stop wanting to learn animate or until people stop wanting me to help them or whatever. Um, I do like making the videos, they're very fun. So no, they're not gonna end. How often will these videos happen? Mm, uh, hopefully every other month, just animation moves slow. Sometimes there's tons to report and sometimes there's not much to report because a shot just takes a long time and there's a lot of steps to it. So I figure it would be best if I did it every other month. That way I'm not crunching. I can work on my film comfortably and I can work on other videos comfortably. So that is my plan for the series. Um, what I would like this series to be is basically just like updates on my film, potentially like Q and A's if you guys want me to answer questions or have other questions that aren't animation related or maybe even animation related that i can just answer here really briefly so i don't have to make a whole video about it so if there's any questions or comments you want me to answer go ahead just put those in the comments and i'll answer them next month okay updates on just the channel in general if i don't have anything else going on or potential projects i want to work on as well or just thought stuff it's just throwaway content I, I just need throwaway content how far am i into my film there are 90 shots in my film i believe it's about seven minutes uh there's 27 that are really difficult animation that's supposed to challenge me. And then I put 67 shots that are really simple. I can bust out just like stills or quick dialogue shots or something like that. Nothing too crazy for those ones. Uh, I have 25 shots animated, nothing composited, no backgrounds. I will worry about that when I get to that. Right now, I just really want to focus on the animation. What would I like to accomplish with my film? The whole thing is just to basically challenge myself. I've made like short, like 30 second projects and like two minute projects but i've never done anything past like the five minute mark so i really want to experience what that is like i also want to enter it in festivals because i've never done that i am a competitive person but i think it would be cool to see what like a festival run is like um it's a little scary and i'm sure it will give me a lot of anxiety but you know what that's fine how will the film look i really wanted to do it in color but that would just take too long and honestly i'm pretty bad at coloring i'll be totally real 
So I think I'm going to do it like in monochrome and black and white. I really am a huge fan of Takeshi Koike's work. So I kind of want to try to see if I can do like heavy black shading if it's not too taxing for the workflow. Uh, we'll see where I get that, but I'm almost positive it's going to be like a monochrome film. And I just hope people don't think it looks unfinished or something. <laughs> what is my film about? I wonder if this is what like being on an NDA is like, because I think if I talk about it too much or reveal too much, I think I might be disqualified from certain festivals. So uh, it's not very plot heavy, guys. It's just, I just gave myself basically a fairly flexible prompt that I can have fun with and animate really cool stuff with. I really want to do a bunch of subtle animation since that's really hard for me, but there's tons of character animation, walk stuff, action stuff, just everything I really always wanted to do. In terms of what it's about, it's just a babysitter and a kid trying to get through the night. That's as much as I can say, that's not really too anything too crazy. When will I finish my film? Honestly, I, I don't want to crunch through this. I want it to look as best as it can. I'm taking my time. Animation school is very crunchy. YouTube is also kind of crunchy. I just want something where I can just let it flow and everything's okay. <laughs> I do not want it to look super ugly. Well, I, I am cutting some corners because I do want to finish it. I don't want it to take forever. Um, I would like to finish it by like November or October. I don't think I will. It'll get done when it gets done. And uh, you'll learn that as you work on your own projects to just let it work, just work on it consistently. And uh, you'll blink one day and it'll be like, oh my God, I have like three shots left. I can, I, I'm, I'm done, I'm done. That's how basically every project I've worked on has ended up like, so expecting this one to do the same. Is it stressful working for so long on an animation? It's weird because the last videos I worked on really like took attacks on me because you can kind of just like shit out videos with animation, I'm used to it just taking time, so I'm not really stressed out about how long it's gonna take or the length of time. It just takes what it takes, life happens. What can you do, you know? That's just the way it goes. Would I like to work on other videos on the channel? I would love to. I would really like to make like video essays on like video games, because I love video games and thinking about them critically. Um, videos talking about independent shorts and such. Uh, I don't know, I, my channel's still small, so I feel like I can still have fun with this. It's not really like locked into anything beyond just like, animation and goober stuff so i can make goober videos and people will like them <laughs> what is it like to work on an independent film by yourself uh the best way i can describe it like the first month is so awesome because you're like yes i'm doing this it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be so cool i'm gonna be so proud and then eventually that month turns into like six months and <laughs> It really just is like a prison sentence, but it's like a, a you, you are the warden and your workspace is the cell. You just, you got to do that time. Sometimes it's very therapeutic. Sometimes it's absolutely miserable, but if you don't do the time, the, the film isn't going to get finished and you just kind of have to like keep yourself in the best mind possible. Uh, as of now, I'm feeling much better than I was a month, three months ago. I feel like a human. I'm in good spirits. I feel good about channel i feel good about my film i feel good about myself so i hope i can stay on that upturn um you know peaks and valleys that that mood goes up and down a lot <laughs> but you know just i just have to keep the best mind on my shoulders i can i think i'm gonna call the series frame by frame just because like Animation just really is a thing. You just have to take a day at a time. Even I'm sure like in bigger productions, I mean, they're working on those films for like years, man. So, you know, you're not gonna climb Mount Everest in a day. You have to take it a day at a time, a breath at a time, a frame at a time. And yeah, that's, that's, I think that's a good name for the series. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the video. I'm gonna try to stay consistent and post a video a month at least. I'm already starting on the next video. Um, it, it really does mean a lot that people enjoy my tutorials and find them very helpful and insightful as long as people start animating and it makes their lives easier then it makes me really happy because i love animation and i hope you guys find that love as well thank you so much